What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be going over the best 50 tips and tricks for your new Samsung S21 FE 5G. We have researched and tested many tips and tricks and features for the new Samsung S21 FE and in this video we have reviewed the best ones just for you. Welcome to Search Tech. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that is something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's also going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we discuss in this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first up, we're going to have how to get the smoothest display. So one of the most important features of this new device will be the 120Hz refresh rate. To enable it, go to settings, then head to display and then motion smoothness to adaptive. Then we're going to have how to customize the call backgrounds. You can also change the call backgrounds, even use an animated video. Just open up your dialer, tap on the three dot menu on the settings and then settings, call background and then background. Now activate always on display. To activate always on display, just head to settings. You're going to go to lock screen, then always on display and set it to always on. Then we're going to have customize always on display. To do this, just tap on always on and then tap on the clock style to pick the style of the clock and also the colors. Additionally, you can tap on the image icon and then choose from various GIFs. Also, you can add lock screen widgets, and if having them in your home screen wasn't enough, you can now have them in the lock screen. To enable widgets, head over to Settings, Lock Screen, Widgets, then select a widget of your choice, and after that, enable the toggle next to Show On, Always On Display. Now we're going to have the one-handed mode, and the Galaxy S21 FE gives you the one-handed mode. To enable it, just navigate to Advanced Features inside Settings and toggle the switch next to one-handed mode. You can now set the trigger for this depending on the navigation bar style you use. And if you want to set up some Bixby routines, you can create them as per your requirements. So add custom routines and assign specific triggers for the same. To do this, just head to Settings, Advanced Features and select Bixby routines. You can also customize the photo formats and if you want to save on space, it makes only sense to have the photos saved in high efficiency image file formats and videos in HEVC format. These file formats allow your phone to capture photos and videos that are considerably smaller than conventional JPG photos. To make this change, just head over to settings, select the format and advanced options from the menu. Then toggle switched for HEIF pictures. We're also going to have single take and the best thing about the single take feature is the Galaxy S21 where you can fine tune the recording time. For instance, if you want the recording mode to get wrapped in 5 seconds, that is totally doable. To do so, just tap on the timer icon in the lower right corner next to the drag the slider right. You can also customize the modes for the single take right here as you can tell that I'm doing in the video. And you can also activate the HDR10 Plus recording. That Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G also bundles the HDR10 Plus support, which is great for capturing photos and video playback. To enable it on your camera, just switch to video mode and then tap on resolution. Here, make sure that it's set to FHD and then tap on the settings, go to advanced recording options and toggle the switch next to the HDR10 Plus videos. You can also customize the ratio of your photos and to do this just right here on the camera app, tap on the ratio icon and then tap your preferred ratio. You can also capture a moving object easily and the cameras in the Galaxy S21 series come with a toggle to make this job easier. Just go to camera, settings and then tracking out of focus. You can also change skin tones so if you prefer warm color tones on your selfie, just the Samsung Galaxy S21 has a hidden trick for you. It's going to let you pick from two color tones, warm and natural. The can just go to camera, 
head to selfie settings and selfie color tone and if you're taking a nighttime mode the correct nighttime mode on the S21 extremely will be irritating to search out in the event you're new to the phone and you might not even know where there is at first. So just scroll on extra on the model panel subsequent to the shutter buttons and you may see an entire number of totally different taking picture choices and between those picture choices you're gonna see dark mode. You can also zoom in all the way and on the camera just go to the slider here and you can select if you want it to be all zoomed in or zoomed out. You can also do the burst mode and just press the share button and then slide down so you can see that it's going to start the burst mode. You also have quick record and to do this you just have to hold the share button and then that's it. You can also take pictures from videos. So just go to the video and tap the little icon on the left right here that I'm pointing at and when you do it, it will take a screenshot of the video. You can also have the super steady on your videos, just head to your camera and then go on video tab. Once you're in there, you're going to see this little hand right here that I'm pointing at. If you select it, it's going to activate the super steady mode. And if for the side button you decided to pick Bixby and you don't know how to turn off your phone. All you have to do is swipe one time down and then do it again and you will see the little power off button right here on the quick settings menu. You can also remap the volume keys and to do this just go to settings, head to accessibility, then advance and then side and volume up. Then you're going to select here from whatever option it's best for you. You can also customize the side key and this is just to show you if you want to use the Bixby or the turn off button like I mentioned before. And all you have to do is head to your settings and then go to advanced features. Right here you're going to see the option for side key and you can tap on it to customize it. You can also hide your apps and to do this just go to the home screen settings and you're going to select on hide apps. You can also use double tap to wake and to do this just go to settings, advanced features, motion and gestures and then select double tap. Right here you can also do the lift to wake. In order to do this just toggle up this option right here and whenever you lift up your phone it's gonna wake on the lock screen. You can also have a quickly accessibility to widget options and to do this just click on whatever app, long press on it and then widget and right here you're gonna have the quick way to get them. You can also zoom with volume controls and to do this just head to your camera settings then go to shooting method and press the volume keys to zoom in. You can also temporarily mute your phone and to do this you just have to bring down the quick settings like I'm doing right now and then select sound and vibration. And if you want to switch between two most recent apps just double tap on the three bar right here at the bottom. You could also pin your windows and to activate this you just have to go to settings, other security settings and select pin windows. And to use it basically you just have to go on the multitask switcher which is tab 1 on the 3 bars right here and select on the app icon you will see the pin windows option. You could also add a password on pin windows and just go on the pin windows option and ask for a pattern. Now we're going to have the password options and in order to protect your phone just head to settings and then go to biometric and security. Here you can choose if you want facial recognition or maybe the fingerprints. My next tip is also to use multiple fingerprints and right here you can see that we can add them. I totally recommend you to do so because you don't know which one will be easier to use when unlocking your phone. Now I'm going to give you three tips at once which is going to be basically the customization of the home screen. First we're going to have the customization of the home screen layout and just long press on an empty space on the screen and then go to home screen settings. Right here you're going to see the home screen layout and then at the bottom you can see how you can customize the home screen grid and change the grids on the phone if you want it to be bigger or maybe smaller and the same thing you can do with the app screen grid. So just go back and select the third option right here that I'm showing you and then you're going to open up another customization menu. If you would like to name your phone just head to settings, go to about phone all the way in the bottom and then change the name. You can also add contact information by just going to settings and then head to lock screen. Here you can select contact information and then do whatever you want to do by typing either your name, 
maybe a message or a phone number to people so people can call you in case you lose your phone. You can also turn on the flash notifications and to do this just head to settings, go to accessibility and advanced settings. Right here you're going to see the flash notifications. You're also going to have the brief pop-up notifications and to do this just go to settings, open up the notifications and once you do that you're going to go to brief pop-up notifications right here. If you want to customize the edge panels, just head to settings, then go to display, edge panels, handle, and here you're going to see all the options that you have that you can choose from. And if you want to optimize your battery, just head to settings and go down all the way down to device care. Here you're going to see the option to optimize your battery and to check visibility enhancements. So let's go to settings and then accessibility. Here we will see visibility enhancements and this menu right here will let you play with the contrast of fonts and theme and also the buttons as well. If you want to activate talkback, just go to settings, head to accessibility and right here you're going to see the talkback option so the phone can read everything that's on your screen. And if you're wondering how to customize or maybe rotate to landscape mode, just go to settings and then home screen and rotate to landscape mode. You can also have a quick access to this by double swiping down on your home screen by bringing down the quick settings and here you're going to see the rotating option. If you want to split screen, just go to the multitask menu which is opened by tapping once on the three bars and then open an app and then now go back on that multitask menu and long press on the icon of the other app that you want to use and select split screen. Now let's talk about bright swipe and when you go to the quick settings by swiping once you won't see the brightness slider bar but when you swipe twice you will see it. And if you want to customize this just swipe and head to the three dots right here. Head to quick panel layout and then brightness control and select always. On place 49 we have four volume values. When you turn the volume down or up you will see this bar right here and also you can notice it has three dots on the top. If you tap on it, you will see all the four categories of volumes that you can customize separately. And lastly, we're going to have the dark mode. The dark mode is really important since it can save your battery life. And to activate it, just like I have it, head to settings, then display, and select dark. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and to also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.